Hi everyone, thank you very much for following this training series. Um, we've got to the end of chapter seven. We've done uh, about five or six hours of training. It's been fantastic to make for you. Uh, I hope it's been really useful. Now, I've got all the aspirations in the world to make more videos like this, but I won't do it unless I feel like they're used by anyone. So obviously that will be improved by people actually watching them and I'll see the viewing statistics on, on YouTube. But please send your feedback and tell me what you want and I will continue to make it. Um, in particular, I'm keen to do lessons on AR for mobile. So using augmented reality uh, features in, in Android and iOS. I want to do how to build for VR, to build what we've just done into VR experiences. I want to do uh, Magic Leap and other AR smart glasses such as HoloLens, Mad Gaze, all the different tools that I've been learning how to use. Um, and if we really want to go there, we can also start looking at integrating OSC. We can look at integrating um, motion capture and volumetric capture as well, all into Unity. Now, I have said this a few times during the course, but just in case it's been missed, my company, Copper Candle, we make virtual experiences for theatre. We do visualizations of theatre. Anything you're struggling with, if you think you need somebody, call us, coppercandle.co.uk. Uh, we want to help you make your projects, but we also want to enable you to do your own too. Um, now the really advanced stuff, we can build an Unreal Engine using our suite of products that we have that enable better iteration and collaboration. So we can live stream motion capture data straight into any Unreal Engine app that's been built out uh, to anywhere in the world. We can live stream DMX data from a lighting desk into any Unreal Engine app anywhere in the world. Um, and we've got a, an app that allows complete manipulation control animation again using a lighting desk to control and manipulate it that's all for unreal engine so we can help deploy that onto your projects to make you uh, much more efficient at doing the stuff we've just been teaching but in the meantime i'm really hoping that you are becoming interested in unity if it's your first time uh, and after this you can start doing other people's training to start to become an expert in it this was always about trying to to enable new people to Unity uh, to, to start to get to grips with real-time engines because it for me it really is the future of, uh, of visualization and virtual experiences and I want people in the theatre industry whether you're a student, whether you're an amateur, whether you're a professional working in a theatre or you're a studio or a creative or a designer of some sort uh, that you can use Unity to make your projects to help you fulfill those wonderful ideas I'm sure you're all having. Um, you know, if you can do those and you can be part of this community without needing me, that's fantastic. But you know, you know where I am now. If you want uh, me or any of my colleagues to come and help you with a project, we'd be really happy to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching this series, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.